Hey guys, here we have the Nitro Planes F15. Now I bought this as an airframe only model. It included only the foam. I put in everything else separately. I'll list what I put in in the bottom uh, description of this video. But it's a 64 millimeter fan on a four cell setup. The wind's coming kind of towards me, so I'm gonna taxi it out and take it off. This is the maiden flight. I don't have a camera girl today, so we're just gonna take it up and we're gonna zoom in at the camera and let you guys see it flying straight at the camera in level flight. Got to do some trimming first. Let me first show you guys something kind of cool. Check out our flying field here. We got geese, a deer, all just hanging out. Some baby geese. I hope I don't scare them too much, but it's my flying field too, so I'm just going to take off over them and then uh, hopefully I won't bug them too much, but it's my flying field, so they got to deal with it. All right, so let's do a taxi test here. Bring it out a little bit. Nice straight taxi, a little bit right, so I'll put a little bit, a couple of left trims in. You probably heard me click it in there. Turns left good, turns right good. Nice. All right, the wind is coming from behind me, so I'm going to bring it out. We're going to bring it up in the air, guys. See what happens. Made in flight. In the air. Well, wow. Out of the box, on my settings, how I set it up, it's almost 100% in trim as is. That's pretty cool. Let me zoom at the camera here. Right at us. Oh geez, this thing flies good. This four cell setup is giving it plenty of power. F-15s are always stable, nice flyers, and this thing is no exception. It's flying great. Check this out, right at the camera. No stall tendencies at half throttle or more. It's flying great. Let me bring it back out again. One more click of, uh, two more actually, of elevator trim. Bring it back in again, zoom at the camera. Nice. This thing is flying like a dream. A little bit too much elevator, one down click. We're running this on a four cell, 1600 milliamp pack. Very nice flight characteristics. Wow, I'm gonna do a roll. I don't know if you'll see it, but I'll try to do it on cam here. Here's a roll. Very nice. Bring it back up and zoom at the camera again. I like to zoom at the camera here. We'll try to bring it right above the camera this time. We're coming into headwind, so I'm getting a little lift. Zoom it right at the camera. Nice. Wings are holding strong. I used the uh, included epoxy. It's a two-part epoxy. It seemed to be a pretty strong glue. It's the only, you know, I pretty much used the stock that came with the foam kit. Here we go, another zoom bias. And when I turn, you guys can't see it behind me. It turns nice, there's no stalls. Here, let me do another roll if I can on camera. Here we go, roll. Nice rolls. Here, I'm gonna bring it back behind us and do a roll away. See if this gets on camera here and a roll. Nice rolls. Here we come in for another close pass. Right at the camera. Awesome. This thing is stable. Now you guys know I don't really like nitro planes, that's why I bought this in the foam only kit and put in my own electronics. And with my own electronics, this thing is flying very nice. Alright, my timer's running out, so I'm going to go back around and I'm going to bring it in for landing, see how nice this thing lands. Never landed this before, so let's see, I'm going to bring it down. Geese are still there, the deer ran away. <laughs> right, let's get a little closer to the camera. Perfect landing. Very nice. Pink flew like a dream. I barely used full throttle. Some nice right at the camera uh, strikes there. Really beautiful flight there. We're going to go ahead and put in one more battery and take it up again. Alright guys, we just had our main flight. 
built it good, and I'm pretty impressed and happy with the outcome. My ESC down here, sticking out the bottom, right after the flight, cool to the touch. Nice, not lots of nice airflow going over it, keeps it cool throughout the flight, so that's awesome. Not hot at all. I can hold my hand on there no problem. Seriously, cool to the touch. It's slightly warm, if anything, but that is it. So we're going to go ahead and get a second flight here. Like I said, I've got no camera girl today. So we're just going to come in and fly at the camera some more. And uh, we'll get a better video hopefully tomorrow. But I kind of like these uh, camera shots coming straight at the camera. Hopefully I don't hit the camera. Still got lots of geese out there. The deer ran away, but the geese are still there. Bring it out a little bit. It's taxiing pretty darn straight. Maybe a click of left, left rudder will be a little bit good there. Now we're going to turn it around. All right, hopefully we can see this takeoff on camera. Turn on my timer and here we go for the second flight. It bounced a little on takeoff because I was trying to get it closer to the camera for the takeoff and I wasn't pulling on my up elevator right away. But it took off just fine. Can we come in for a flyby? Very nice flight characteristics. I love how F-15 fly. Here we come. That went right over my head. <laughs> I could feel the air from the motor that time. Here we come again. I can't believe I got the trim so perfect. I didn't have to trim barely at all out of the box or out of my settings. Little bit of a jumpy jump there. I was trying to zoom it down closer so you guys can see it in camera and I almost hit the cement there. But we fixed it, got it up in the air and it took off just fine. It held those G's just fine on the wings. Low pass. This thing flies like a dart, perfectly straight, perfectly stable. is so good. There's trees behind me. It might show you afterwards, but there's like trees right behind me and I gotta pull up and turn and it's doing high G turns perfectly. Well, my timer's getting low now. I'm not full, flying it at full throttle at all. I'm flying around 65 to 75 throttle, even less sometimes on these flybys. Thing flies great. Gonna bring it back in for a landing in a second here. Alright, let's bring it in for a landing here. I think I'm running low on battery actually. Yep, I'm pulsing and I'm going down. So here we come in for a dead stick landing. Let it drop. Pull up. Flare. Nice. I'm completely out of battery. If I push up on the stick, it's barely going up. 
So there's two good flights for you guys of the F-15. Flies great. I'm pretty amazed with the quality of the, uh, of the work I put into it. That's not to say this is a Nitro Plane's stock quality. You wouldn't be able to fly it like this on the stock plane. Like I said, I put a lot of modification, made sure everything was good, put an uh, upgraded motor, upgraded uh, battery. Uh, so it's as it is, as the work I put into it, it flies great. I'm really happy since I did put some, some work into this plane. So there you guys had it, the F-15, great flying plane.